it really is a sad indictment also on the scene, isn't it? Like, unfortunately, I think I was speaking about this myself recently. Um, I think concerning, what I was speaking about? I think I was speaking about with my club nights that I used to do back in the day, like Dawson and whatnot in East London. Some of you may have come to a few of them, you know, stuff like So Special and whatnot that was doing pretty decently at the time when I was kind of doing it. But, you know, nothing that was really pushing culture that way forward. But I still played a role in kind of dictating you know, some trends in nightlife at a time or whatnot, just kind of taking part, whatever it may be, who cares, right? It's just a flipping club now, who gives a fuck? But what I remember looking at those pictures, because I was going through a few pictures the other day and kind of scanning through some old stuff and thinking about putting some throwback Friday things up, and I was thinking, you know what, actually, that's horrible because it just looks like you're kind of pining and holding on for yesteryears. Well, not, it's not really the fact. I'm just kind of sharing them because I like the core pictures, but it does come across like you're kind of missing out on the time that you were quote-unquote cool, and now that you're expired, you're trying to relive those kind of glory years through these pictures you just to just try to make new experiences as opposed to kind of live you know off of the flames of yesteryears but anyway i digress what i didn't notice on those pictures is how many people were around me i noticed so many people in my orbit like standing to the left to the right behind people off camera you could just feel that i was constantly surrounded by people and these are people that were working in cool jobs that maybe were associated with the cool people that had cool things that they were doing themselves it was all these amazing creative people who were just kind of all around me and trying to basically you know get in my orbit and i was trying to maybe get into their orbit and it was just like a free exchange of clout that was happening at the time and it was all done under the guise of like that's my brother that's my sister that's my friend that's my co d that's my this that's my that when really that was never the truth because now I can count on one hand the amount of people from those years that I speak to now or we're in we're in any kind of cordial relationship with. Not that, not that we've fallen out, but in the in effect of like, you know, I don't know zero about what's going on in their life and they probably know zero about what's going on in mine because I don't even share crap on social media. So that's the really odd thing about it is that there are moments in your life, especially when you're in the kind of, you know, creative scene or whatnot, or wherever you're from, where you feel like you're at the center of the earth, like you feel like you're, you're, you're in the center of all of it, everyone's kind of around you, you feel like you're in the heart and the thick of it, you feel like you're kind of taking part, you're active, uh, you're participating, and then soon, especially if you don't take advantage of the situation you're in, and you don't try to capitalize and build from it, it just goes away, and it never comes back again, and those same people that you thought were really your friends, aren't really your friends because they stop checking in on you because you know you're not really of any benefit to them any way shape or form and i got the same sort of feeling when i saw that post of philippus london like he hasn't been seen since july now that could be an exaggeration that could be some people haven't seen him since july maybe his family members have seen him on facetime in june or whatever but the fact that no one went out of their way to try and find out if he was cool since july is a real bad indictment on just how um, surface level, how fake everything is in the scene when it comes to relationships. Like there is no, it, it doesn't exist. This whole like brotherhood, sisterhood, friendship thing, it's all circumstantial based. It's all based on like what you have, um, what you can provide people. Like be under no illusions. These people are not your friends because when it comes down to it, in moments like this, you see what real friendship looks like and real friendship wouldn't allow you to let somebody who you know and love to go missing for six months. Even if they go missing of their own volition, even if it's like Davis London pers purposely retracted himself from society like because i know i did that in the scene when i was popping and doing my thing in the scene i purposely pulled away maybe because i kind of felt like i would never really adapt to it cool that could be a good reason maybe because i felt like no one liked me maybe who knows but i do feel like i took the first step to kind of pull away even though i could have tried to like hold on and did that whole thing because a lot of people in the scene who ended up being successful some of them were successful because of their talent and their skill and their hard work and their ability to network and whatnot but some of them are also successful because they were just persistent they just had they just never gave up they just no sorry well they never gave up and they just didn't leave they just stayed. So the guys who were photographers at events, they're still doing pictures now and getting invited to all these kind of things. The guys that were, you know, um, doing flipping producing and assisting on sets and stuff, they're still doing it. Because if you just hang around long enough and you don't leave and you're somewhat reliable, sooner rather than later, 
your chance will come to show and prove and you'll be able to get a job and you're there kind of solidified. But if you're like me and you kind of get a little bit um, disillusioned by the scene, you get kind of pissed off with people's personalities, you don't feel like you can lick art, all this sort of stuff, you start playing all these weird mind games in your head, it's very difficult to stay and be present because you're kind of constantly thinking in the back of your head that you're coming across like a waste man, you should be doing your own thing, uh, all this sort of nonsense narrative. So for me... I didn't want to stay like that. I didn't want to, you know, some people, when you're working in the workplace, when someone doesn't want to be there, there could be a negative, you know, influence on the workplace. They're coming in late. They're always stroppy. They're always mumbling under their breath. They're always trying to get you involved in their conspiracy about how bad this workplace is. You just want to work and cash a check and go home. So I'm that kind of person who's like, if I have that kind of attitude, I just leave. I do it all the time at jobs. As soon as I'm not feeling the place I'm at, as soon as I'm kind of starting to get a bit disillusioned or I feel like I've, maybe surpass a level that I'm at even if it can be you know um even if it is a little bit of an ego thing I immediately pull myself away from it because I don't want to be a negative influence and I feel like I did that in the scene I kind of like you know what I don't want to turn into somebody that I'm not ever going to be or or that I would hate to be I'd rather kind of pull myself away from it and I did that on purpose fair enough but I'm nowhere near the celebrity of surface London I'm nowhere near the level of clout that he ever had so the fact that he can pull away and no one can go and check in on him is really concerning, really, really concerning. And it kind of does, like, again, show how surface level and how fake those relationships and friendships are. Because I'm sure he's hooked up many people. He's sorted out many people with different roles and positions, um, just with looks and just, you know, just standing next to the guy, being in his orbit, all this sort of stuff has basically allowed people to go in, you know, and go, go and further their career. And in the moment of, darkness or in a moment where he maybe might need some support maybe it's just a cry for help whatever it may be no one's there for him until a random person puts a post up on instagram and then suddenly everyone remembers myself included oh yeah first person is around don't get me wrong i'm not a close friend but still do you know what i mean that, that that's the really concerning part about all of that sort of stuff it's really eye-opening to that extent of like no one really cares for you in that regard like just just make the best of it while you can in the moment you're in especially if you're in the light because I think we all get this, we all get this moment in our lives where the kind of the spotlight kind of shines on us. It's probably your duty when the spotlight is on you to kind of make the most of it and bring all your friends that you want, especially your actual friends, people that you actually love, and bring them under your arms and kind of have them standing on, you know, beside you, basking in that light, and allow them to kind of take that light and then kind of give it to other people, blah blah blah. But you also have to know that soon that light will kind of pass over you and go to somebody else. So you can't take it for granted. And don't also think the people that are in that light under, under you are going to be there forever. Some of them are just there temporarily to kind of bask in that light and to get a little bit of that juice and kind of take it elsewhere. Some of them are going to be long-time friends, wherever it may be, but just know it's very temporary, very temporary, which is probably why it's really important to have a very balanced and fulfilled life outside of the scene. Because if you think those guys in the scene are your friends, you're going to be in for a rude awakening once, you be, once you're not cool or relevant anymore. Because that does happen to everybody. Everyone has a moment where you're not necessarily the main guy or girl anymore. And either it's by force or by the way of the industry, you'll start to realize it. And then sooner rather than later, you have to kind of pivot and do other things or you end up being one of those people that don't accept it. And you're you know still there at these flipping private views wearing 700 pound trainers and trying to fit in with the cool kids. It's like, it's a bit sad, but hey, um, hoping everything's good with the office London, I really do, and hopefully he's found safe and well, and it's just like a, you know, communication, misunderstanding type of thing. That's my hope, really, really is my hope.